Double RT Boxing here. This is Mr. A. We're doing a fight recap between Hiroto Kaguchi versus Jose Arguindo. It was for the IBF Minimum Weight Championship. And first off the bat, congratulations to the new IBF Minimum Weight Champion, Hiroto Kaguchi. He improves the 8 0. Becomes the quickest uh, Japanese fighter to ever become a champion. Um, it was a pretty, it was an entertaining fight. It was a unanimous decision. Um, if you wa if you watched or listened to my breakdown right here on Double RT Boxing with Mr. A, I told, I let you know that the main factor I felt was Jose's um, hiccup. And his right hand delivery between his left landing and his right following or just too long of a hiccup I felt a uh, Hiroto uh, hand speed and foot speed was too fast and it would be able to land between or land before or even counter it it was just he could do with that hand speed he could do whatever he want and pretty much he did uh, the first round, I gave it to Jose. It felt, uh, felt uh, maybe uh, Hiroto was feeling him out a little bit, but also kind of like caught in the moment, like, oh, this is my big time. Like, it, it's kind of like, it, it was, it was kind of making this, like, I guess his throat tight or something, that feeling, you know, when you get anxious. But after that, he just he was just able just to really start picking them apart, timing them. Like I said, this fight was going to be some close rounds. I said that it's going to be some competitive rounds. I said that, but ultimately it was just an easy unanimous decision. Towards the end of the fight, I believe it was uh, around the seventh round. That's when. Uh, he wrote a really start going to the body. He, he like in round two, he gave, he gave a really good body shot, but he never went back to. He never really focused on the body again. Not until round seven, he really, really dug into the body. Like he, from the get go, from the straight from the get go of the round, he just dug it in, and then. That, that worked because up until that round seven, they were both going back and forth, you know, making it entertaining. But I said, Hirota was picking them off through the whole match. The only thing I did not like, though, um, Hirota has, I thought he was going to use more leg movement to uh, dance around him, use angles to enter. I didn't think he's gonna dance. I mean, stay right in front of Jose, and I didn't think I didn't think his uh his guard would be his gloves would be that wide apart because Jose was able to land surprisingly land that long right uppercut almost at will, and a few with the left ones, but it, it, it uppercut he was landing at will because the one it was a, a hiccup and hurricane and jerk it was kind of un, unpredictable, but it was just. The, the, the width of his, his gloves were wide. But then, um, like I said, uh, uh, besides that, he was pretty much from round two and round three, he was able just to get the timing of Jose and kind of just either check left hook that right hand or if, if Jose missed the right hand, he he just tag him. It, if he goes for the right hand, he tag him. Mr. Right Hand, he tagged him. Jose threw himself off balance constantly, and it took him about a half a second to get his feet back under him. And Hiroto's hand speed was fast enough to take advantage of that and either score a good shot or a point accumulation shot in between him, in between Jose trying to get his feet back under him. So he'll miss a shot, take a half a second to get himself in a defensive mode, but he's already getting tagged again. Now, like I said, in round seven, Hiroto made a, a point to go to the body for seven to eight. He went to the body and then round nine, he just accumulation and continued on, went to the body again, dropped him, 
and give it to this ref. This ref was letting them fight all night long. Like the Jose be looking at the ref when they're inside holding, and the referee just let them fight. Now he let Jose fight those last like 40 seconds of that nine round. Jose was out on his feet. He was gassed, but he went all 12 rounds. And in the twelfth round, uh, even though I know Hiroto, I think it's kind of I think it's more of a Japanese type fight into it, like uh, Mexicans and Hispanic fighters. They stand toe to toe, and I thought Hiroto just he got hit a little too much, especially in the twelfth round. I thought he had used his feet a lot more, and just he made he made this fight entertaining but too hard. He he could have easily beat him how he beat him with better foot movement and it would have been so much easier because his hand speed he has all the tools to make that fight anytime he wants to if he would have used his feet better he would have took way less punches but it was an easy fight to see coming check out the prediction this is double rt boxing mr a here saying thank you for your support Please subscribe.